Alright, in this last video, I'm going to show you uh, a live examples that I'm using Insta page, and this will all be the information that I'll be using. So I actually have already all this information mapped out uh, in a Word document, and I'm going to place it on Insta page. So the main purpose is just to let you go through the key function on Insta page. So, so starting with, let me create a new page. Okay, I'm going to use a blank page. Okay, so to name the page are uh, eight critical factors. Continue. And I have a blank page here. Okay, so starting with I'm going to put the headline. Uh actually before that the first thing I like to do is actually to just to go ahead and adjust the fonts already. Uh just I like to use Oswald for my fonts. So I'm just going to look for Oswald. Is that font type? Yeah, Oswald for my headline. And for my paragraph font, uh, usually I like to use Meriwether or uh, PT Sense. So in this case, I'm just going to use PT Sense. So starting with, I'll add a headline. Okay, headline. Just put the headline up here. So I have eight critical elements. And there you go. I have my headline here. Uh, centralize it, make it a little bit bigger, forty-four maybe. And uh, I will actually, I like to highlight uh key, uh key key elements within my headline. Let's like say example these eight critical elements. So I will have something like this, and it really stands out. So, uh, okay, I have this along the way, and, yep, so this is good. Sometimes I like to add a line, so, uh, along the way, you will see that we actually have, uh, uh all this line, and for me, when I add all this, right, it acts as a good separator for them to know that, oh, we're transiting from one part of the article to the other part of the article. So you have something like this. Then add in the hero shot. So this way I add image. Upload from PC. Okay. Insert image. This is my hero shot. Okay, adjust the size, make it a little bit smaller here. Yep, so this is good. Oops. Just shift everything up here. Yeah, if I want to put my form at the side, then I can make this picture a little bit smaller so that my form can be on the right hand side. Okay. Then I can add my form here. So since this is a B two B example, uh, I'll probably need the company name also. Edit the button. Download. Download. And I can. Yeah, I think I'm fine with blue. Blue looks good. Just remember the main point for the headline is contrasting color. So I can add a short paragraph here. Okay, maybe. I can just copy this clip here. Okay, so. To make it really obvious, I like to add this also. Okay, please again. Ebook. Okay. Decentralize this. Okay, now it looks nice. Okay. 
So then all the sharing inside you discover point one, point two, point three. You can just add a new paragraph here. Adjust it. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust all this. Make sure it's nice. Make this bigger. Oops. Oh dear. I have to redo that. So sorry. Uh, but you can see how the things are coming along, and you can see that actually, um, once all your content is up. Uh, actually on Insta page it's actually pretty fast to get all these things up so okay this is done maybe I can just make this 18 and it's good inside your discover so at the side here I can add one more testimonial so so maybe uh, I can actually add a testimonial over here, just a short blurb. Usually, testimony can italic it and add an image for the testimonial. This is ideally the guy face who gave you this testimonial. So, so this is the guy's face. You have to edit all your image before you actually upload it to Insta page because we can't edit the image from Insta page. And there you go. Okay, so you have an ebook that looks something like this, simple and clean. Yeah. Okay. Eight critical element inside your discover. So when they see here, they'll know that it's a free ebook. And then, uh, maybe down here you can also put a uh, testimonial. Yeah, let them know that this is a testimony, so you can put a headline here. Uh, testimony. Okay. You centralize it. Then you can centralize these two. Okay. Okay, so this is good. Then the next thing you need to do is to make sure that uh, you have your mobile version. So for your desktop, you can go to your mobile version. Just to make sure that everything is clean. Okay. So in this case, uh, I may need to shift this up. Shift this up. The first thing they'll see is the a critical element. Flow and mobile. So this free ebook, I may actually shift it down. Oh no. Maybe I can put this up instead. So free ebook, they can read this short blurb, then they'll read what you discover inside, and then they can sign up for the ebook. And if they need be, they can see more testimonial. Yep. Okay, and this is good. So we have something completed. If you want to add more color, or if you think the coloring is uh can be changed a little bit more, you can actually add the coloring. Uh, if not, then white color is fine too. So we just publish this. Continue anyway. It's the page so we can put it critical factors. And this will be the URL that we will be uh, using to enter this ebook. So once we are done with this, uh, for organizing purpose, usually you can create a folder on your Insta page. So you can actually create a folder, a critical, and you just create it. And it's very much a drag and drop feature here. You just drag it in. So we have this. So I'm going to create a thank you page now. Thank you page is going to be really simple. So just click here. Okay, I'll choose this thank you page. A critical underscore thank you. Continue. 
Okay, so we can use this thank you page. Uh, if we are sending this ebook through email, this is perfect. Uh, you can just delete away this statement in case, uh, unless you're giving one secret and a special bonus. But if you are not, just delete this and you can use this. Then we need to get back to our home page. So this is optional, but usually I like to delete it also. And the all rights reserved, you can put your own company details. Uh, if not, you can delete this. Then this is good to go. Check mobile. Okay, good to go. Fantastic. <clears throat> so I will just publish this also. Okay, and then I will just write it critical underscore. Thank you. Oops, cannot put underscore. So it's just a critical. Thank you. <clears throat> then last but not least. Just drag this in. So we have the two files under one folder. Uh, go back to your a critical page. And now we need to link the uh, redirect. Link the thank you page with your form. So just look for your landing page or insta page. Then choose landing page, choose a critical. Thank you. Okay. And then you can write uh, your ebook will be sent via email full stop done okay publish this oops actually then we need to publish once you publish it once all you need to do is to save yeah you don't need to publish it again anymore if you want to change your URL you can publish it continue anyway okay so just now I put eight critical factors if I want to put uh, change my uh, URL instead of a critical factors, maybe I want to say a critical elements. This is how I change my URL. Okay, so our landing page is up. Once you see two green dot, means this is up, and we can actually run through the whole thing. Let me show you. So when you go up, uh, you will come to this page and you will see a page something like this. Uh, a lot more you can do to make it clean. If I were to put my name, Norman Yeo, norman.yeoshift at tangilab.com and tangilab group private limited. I can download now. Okay, thank you. Your email will be sent via email. Uh, it should be your ebook, but it's okay. I can change that later. And I'll get to this landing page. So where does your leads appear? Your leads will appear uh, inside your Insta page. You will see under this tab in your main page. You see this button leads. If you will click here, you will actually see that eh, my details are already here already. Norman Yeo, Norman Yeo at Tangy Lab, Tangy Lab Group Private Limited. Okay, and that's it for this video. Thank you.